Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and welcome to one of the most in-depth series on React Native, of course sponsored by Hashnode. Check out Hashnode for more, it's an amazing platform where developers meet, greet each other and share their knowledge via blogging. So it's an amazing blogging platform for uh, developers, friendly, developer centric, so go ahead check them out. In this video, we're going to be doing a revision, I hope that you have watched the previous videos as well. In the last app, we actually learned about a brief basics of how the navigation works in different type of navigation. In this one, we'll be creating a more of a realistic, a realistic take on how these navigations are being done. And this is exactly what we'll be creating. So this is the app where we have a list of all the trending products, uh, four of them, you can add definitely more. And this is going to come up from a constant file. Later on, when we learn about the APIs and all of that, you can bring that up from database or an API call as well. But this will behave almost exactly like same that you have stored the data in an array and then you are just looping through it. That's exactly what we'll be replicating in this video. So we have all these values and we are looping through them. So once we click on any of the phones, 65,000, 75,000, 66 or 38, you click any one of them it will load up a new screen which will be detailed screen and these details are taken up from the home screen to the next screen. So there's a home screen, there's a detail screen where we have uh, this kind of an image, uh, we have these uh, star ratings and everything. These are all coming up from the constant file. So this is all that we'll be building up and surely this looks basics but that this has so much of in-depth learning as well as a revision from the previous app that you'll be absolutely comfortable with the React Native navigation. And that's the goal, make you absolutely comfortable as a mobile app developer. So this is all what we'll be building, uh, looks fun. Let's go ahead and get started and move on to next video to build this app.